The campaign trail kicking into overdrive. The friendship between Donald Trump and Ted Cruz is officially over. That heated battle hotter than ever, but now the Democrats are just a few hours away from fa a face-off of their own in a big debate tonight. ABC's Mary Bruce right there in South Carolina covering it all. Mary, good morning. Hi, Cecilia. Good morning. Well, just a few days ago, they seemed to be friends, but now with the Iowa caucuses just two weeks away and Trump and Cruz neck and neck in the early states, the Republican frontrunners are locked in an all out slugfest. This morning, Republican frontrunners Donald Trump and Ted Cruz are going to the mat in a war of words in front of the camera and on Twitter. Trump is slamming Cruz in a barrage of tweets, now calling him a hypocrite. Also posting this photo asking, is this the New York that Ted Cruz is talking about and demeaning? And he blasted him for failing to properly disclose a loan from Goldman Sachs. He obviously didn't want the voters to know that he is totally controlled lock, stock and barrel by Citibank and by, uh, by Goldman Sachs. Cruz uh, fired back. I think in terms of a commander in chief, we ought to have, have someone who isn't springing out of bed to tweet. In South Carolina, where both front runners appeared at a Tea Party convention, Trump's attacks did not go over well. Excuse me, didn't report his bank loans? Say whatever you want. He didn't report bank loans, so it's okay. On the Democratic side, the mood was a little more lighthearted as the candidates geared up for tonight's debate. I certainly am pleased to share this podium with uh, my distinguished opponents. But the pleasantries are not expected to last long. We candidates actually agree on a lot, but we do have differences. I'm sure we'll explore those more at the debate. With the Democratic race tightening in the early states, the candidates have been sharpening their attacks. Under a Sanders administration, every Democratic party in the United States of America will get the resources it needs. Now, the stakes for the Democratic debate here tonight are huge. Clinton and Sanders have butted heads in the past, but with temperatures rising out on the campaign trail and their poll numbers narrowing, everyone will be watching to see just how negative will they go. Dan. Mary, thank you. Uh, let's get back, though, to the complete evaporation of the trump Cruz mutual non-aggression pact. If, if you think Trump was tough at the Tea Party gathering on Saturday, check out what he said in this interview with ABC News chief anchor George Stephanopoulos. He has doubled down on this issue of New York values. He, he lumped you in yesterday with Hillary Clinton, Andrew Cuomo, Bill de Blasio, and said he apologizes to the millions of New Yorkers let down by liberal politicians. Look, the truth is he's a nasty guy. He was so nice to me. I mean, I knew it. I was watching. I kept saying, come on, Ted, let's go, kid. But he's a nasty guy. Nobody likes him. Nobody in Congress likes him. Nobody likes him anywhere once they get to know him. He's a very... Um, He's got an edge that's not good. You can't make deals with people like that, and it's not a good thing. It's not a good thing for the country. Very nasty guy. Okay, and uh, George is here now. George, you that's and just I... That's the topic sentence, that's just, by right, the way, Exactly. Right? I'm sure there was more. <laughs> you and I have sat in these very chairs on many a Sunday morning in the aftermath of some sort of eye-popping comment from Donald Trump, and I've asked the question over and over again, has he gone too far? Has he crossed the line? And uh, repeatedly, apparently not. However, I'm going to ask it again because <laughs> because he got booed at that at that yeah. Tea Party event. And so I'm wondering, is there a real risk for him in attacking uh, uh, Cruz repeatedly? No question there is a risk. And you did see it last night. You're exactly right in, in, in South Carolina. But as we have seen, every time that Donald Trump tangles with someone so far, he's come out the winner. Whether it, you know, whether it's Jeb Bush or Ben Carson, uh, all of these all of these attacks somehow seem to stick. Now, we'll see if the attacks that Donald Trump has started now uh, stick as well. Cruz is giving no quarter. He's going to come back just as hard at Donald Trump saying he's not a true conservative. It's all going to play out in Iowa just two weeks from today. Cruz definitely not low energy, mm -hmm. as, as uh, Trump would say. Let me ask you about what's going on on the Democratic side. As, we, as you know, big debate tonight. The polls are getting tighter. Does Hillary Clinton have to sharpen her edge a little bit going into this debate with Bernie Sanders? She's been doing it all week long, uh, trying to draw contrasts on health care on guns, on electability, and she's going to keep it up. She knows she's in a real fight right now. Sanders uh, fighting right back as, as well and, you know, t talking about Hillary Clinton's ties uh, to Wall Street. So we're going to see this, the same thing happening right here. Now, some people, uh, Clinton allies, have said she waited too long uh, to take on Bernie Sanders, that now is the time, but she's doing it at a time now where Bernie Sanders looks like he's pulled ahead in Iowa, although it's very close, is ahead in New Hampshire. She still holds on 
to quite a national lead and a state in South Carolina where they're having the debate tonight, very, very strong for Hillary Clinton. Boy, this race is interesting on mm -hmm. both sides. George, thank you. And I want to yeah. remind everybody that George has a big show this morning. He's going to be speaking with Hillary Clinton. And of course, you can see much more of his exclusive interview with Donald Trump. That's later this morning on This Week right here on ABC. So